The Ministry of Physical Development is seeking to officially designate the Peters Management Area as an environmental protection area. But it's not only woods, according to Chief Physical Planning Officer Ms. Karen Augusting. For this to happen, legislation is key, the Chief Physical Planning Officer says. And for that we have decided to have it uh, legally binding that it would be an environmental protection area underneath the Physical Planning and Development Act. So to facilitate this initiative, we are undertaking a series of public sensitization activities whereby we will engage the public and explain to them what that generally means. Put plainly, an environmental protection area is an area consisting of features which require preservation not only for the present but for future generations. Preserved in its appearance, preserved in its um, natural ability to provide a sense of ownership as a country. So in having that protection done, we are letting the world know, we are letting St. Lucians know that this area is special. This area is unique. This area has certain qualities that need to be preserved. The PME was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site during the 20th session of the World Heritage Committee in 2004. Fast forward 20 years in 2024, as plans are foot to officially designate it an environmental protection area, the question is asked, was the proverbial cart put before the horse? I do agree with you. So if we recognize that we have done this, we need to now take a step back, examine our situation and put things right. We need to preserve it for us before we can preserve it for a world heritage recognition. And since we recognize that we may have fallen short, we need to step up and do the right thing. Processes, provisions and penalties regarding the handling of developments that have not met the requirements under the Physical Planning and Development Act already exist. Among the new amendments to the legislation will include additional protection for the Petons in order to avert illegal or unplanned development in the designated area or preserve it in its natural state as much as possible. This will also include the sulfur springs. To sensitize the general public to this activity, we have undertaken a series, or we are intending to undertake a series of public sensitization drives in Sufre as well as nationally, so as to sensitize the general public as to what the provisions of that legislation are about. And we are inviting all stakeholders, and that is each and every one of us as St. Lucians, to participate in this exercise so that you too can be aware of your contribution in preserving this area for your children. So we're encouraging everybody. We are, we are going to be um, in the future sending out where we are having those um, public engagements. We are starting off in Sufre, of course. We will be on radio and television. There are other areas on St. Slusha already designated environmental protection areas, Point Sab in Fufort being one of them. The Department of Physical Planning is currently collaborating with the Ministry of Sustainable Development in identifying other areas which require environmental protection status. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.